Hello everybody. I welcome you all to Structural Dynamics course. My name is Pradeep Kumar and I am your course instructor. Along with me we have two TAs Pulkit Velani and uh, uh, Nilima Patnala. So in this course we will study the effect of dynamic loads on structures and how structures behave, what is the response of the structures. So that we will discuss. Now a structure if we take say it is a complex system say maybe 5 story building, 10 story building. So any building which is a it is a complex system. So initially what we do is we uh, simplify the structure into a single degree of freedom system. So where it is represented by a mass, a spring. So which we, we from uh, properties of the spring may come from uh, uh, the properties of the uh, lateral load resisting system. So mass, spring and damper system. So first we discuss about single degree of freedom systems and then later we go for multi degree of freedom systems. And then we also discuss continuous systems where mass is distributed continuously like say chimneys and towers. Now like how do we uh, solve this uh, single degree of freedom systems. So first we uh, formulate the equation of motion for single degree of freedom system that is called dynamic equilibrium equation and then we solve it. So there are many ways of solving it. So first we discuss about classical method and next uh, we discuss about uh, Duhamel's integral or convolution integral and third we discuss uh, uh, transform methods say Fourier transform method we discuss wherein we convert uh, uh, differential equation into algebraic equation and fourth we discuss about numerical techniques. So in systems we discuss about say free vibration, forced vibrations, uh, undamped vibrations, damped vibrations. So this all we discuss for a structure and then uh, uh, later we go and discuss about the contents of the structure. So that is how rigid blocks or how the uh, furniture behaves due to uh, action of dynamic loads. And then say in tall buildings sometimes this vibration amplitude will be uh, severe. So we will discuss techniques of uh, uh, how to control these vibrations. So there are two ways one is active control systems and second one is passive control system. So in that we discussed we discussed tune mass damping systems and then uh, uh, these base isolation systems we discussed. So overall the, the journey of structural dynamics course will start from say single degree of freedom systems. It ends at a, a complex uh, systems uh, something like vibration control. So the main objective of the course is to understand the behavior of the structures under the action of dynamic loads. So dynamic loads such as say earthquake, wind or any machine uh, which is uh, uh, installed on the structure.